What's going on YouTube? I'm here to do a review on the Skytech Legacy Mini. Now, when I first purchased this uh, PC, I noticed on YouTube no one was really doing any reviews on it. So I thought I'd help everybody out. And since it's around Christmas time, just in case somebody else was buying one, I want to go ahead and give a 100% honest review on it. Uh, I've been using it now for a couple of days, so I think now I can kind of tell everybody what's in it, how it works, and any things that may be bad um, based upon what you would need. So let's start over here. It is a Skytech Legacy Mini. It has a Ryzen 7 1700 8-core processor with the 1660 Ti 6GB. Now it does have a 500GB SSD. I do plan on upgrading it to where I'll have more mass storage. But right now the SSD is running smoothly, it's super fast, and I don't have any problems with that. Now the 16 gigs of RAM is DDR4. This does have Wi-Fi built in and Bluetooth. So you can do a controller Bluetooth, you can do headsets through Bluetooth, whatever suits your needs. Now this is what it looks like up close on the website. So if you ever if you've seen it, if you bought it, here's a good review. I got pros and I got cons about it. So let's just jump right into it. So I have it right here. You notice it's just plain old whatever. So it does come with a control for the fans and the lights. Now if I press on, the fan lights come on, like the case fan lights come on. So with the controller, you have multiple settings. You have your red, green, and blue. So if I just press red, they all go red, green, and blue. Now you also have patterns here to choose from. So the M up and M down, those are your different pattern selections. So you have all these different ones to choose from. Whenever I show it off to a friend, I click on the rotation one, and it's a rainbow, and it just spins like that. You also have a pulsing option right here, and if you pulse it, it just pulses back and forth, but we'll leave it on rotation for now. So if we go ahead and open it up, which you can by just putting your fingers here, pressing down, and then opening, you'll see it looks very clean in there. The wire management was very nice. There's GPU. Now it does have four RAM slots. So if you did want to upgrade it in the future, you certainly well can. It's got two in the front, two, one in the back. Now the one in the back is an exhaust, and the two up front, you notice there's no th way for it to suck in air here because it's a solid case all around. It actually has a honeycomb pattern on the back. Let me see if I can show you right there. And that's where the air would come in at. So this is the keyboard it came with. It was very nice. This is the preferable. So it, it is a Skytech gaming keyboard and their Skytech gaming mouse. I got to say, I do like the mouse a little bit. Uh, I love the keyboard. I just have one issue with it. I do like to type a lot in game. And when you're doing something fast paced and you need to type something really fast, the only issue is look how small that backspace key is. It's very, very small. I always constantly hit the the dash or the insert key but all in all it's a pretty good keyboard very very nice uh, if you you can actually cycle through the lights by hitting the settings on off and it changes it from here to this to off and then back to this but if you actually press fn and then the settings it actually will cycle through all of the different types of color selections which is really nice now as you notice the mouse will also change colors you just got to watch it. Now, it does have two USBs in the front. I'm not sure if these are 3.0s. I haven't yet looked. I do know there are some in the back. Uh, one of the only issues I have right now is with a laptop, because I just did come from a gaming laptop background, I have to get an adapter for my headset because I would need a both microphone and a headphone adapter to plug into my aux cord. Now, you'll notice up here, it does have a reset button, this little button up here, with the power button. Now, I've accidentally pressed this once, just, you know, moving it, but other than that, I've never pressed it on accident. Now, as you can see, I do have it set up to two monitors. Uh, this one's through HDMI, and this one's through DVI. It does have a DVI on the back with one HDMI and one display port, so it will support three monitors, which... <sighs> really is not an issue for this computer uh, so you you'll be able to do as much gaming as you want to on it now I don't I know that people have been getting different keyboards from this I did see a photo where 
Someone received a red dragon keyboard and a red dragon mouse. So I guess it really just depends on what they have in the warehouse. Now, one thing about this that I necessarily didn't like. Now, it did come in very protective packaging, so you really don't have to worry about any of that. It came in a big box with stuff around the corners and then another box inside of that one. And then that contained the PC. Now, this is where I was getting a little aggravated when I first opened it up. So, this glass does come out. You can pick it up, sit it down, whichever way you want to. So, if you look, all of the case fans have wires that go up there. Now, the back one is actually pinched. Where are you? There it is. Pinched by the power supply. Uh, I, I took it out and I kind of figured that this was the only way that they could do it. Uh, but there was just one issue. When I turned on the PC originally, my case fans wasn't on. They were not powered on, they had no lights, and they were not spinning. I had to actually turn the computer around with me and my buddy and opened it up from the back, took all the wires out, and noticed that they had jammed the case fan uh, plug into upside down. So... It was kind of weird, and it we 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 kind of just wrote it off as they were in a rush. So it would be kind of be like putting this thing in upside down into a into the other side of the port. But other than that, that was really my only bad thing about the building of it. Uh, like I said, the wire management in here is incredible. They did a really good job on it. I love the fans and how I can just in the blink of an eye. Turn them off or on and set different motions to whatever I want. And it really does come nice with the keyboard and the mouse combination. Uh, as you can see, I do have a really nice desk. It's, a, it's actually marked after the Super Nintendo controller. It's real nice. Got my gamer tag up there with select and, and the start key. But something else this computer did come with was this folder. Now, a lot of people may not like it or ever use it, but I thought it was kind of cool, and I may or may not use it, but it's just a simple little folder that they gave you for, you know, thanking you for purchase and everything like that. It, I mean, if you're in school or whatnot, it may come in handy, but as of right now, I really don't know what I would do with it. So, well, all right, guys, I know that you guys already knew it, but, I gave it a thumbs up based on what all I know now. I don't really have a lot of games downloaded right now. Just a couple of competitive, fast-paced games. But if you ever thought about buying it or you did buy it and you just wanted to look at a review, um, thank you for clicking on this video. And here in a little bit, I will be running a Heaven's Benchmark, and I'll make sure that that is in the video.
Okay, guys. Well, this is the final score. Uh, Hammond Benchmark 4.0, we all know this. Average FPS was 104. See, that's kind of strange because without the uh, recording software, I managed to get 110. And the score for this was 2,623. And without the stuff in the background, it got 2,644. Uh, maximum FPS and minimum FPS only really vary by about 5 or 4. And as you can see, we are in ultra with tessellation to the extreme. Uh, that 1080p was in full screen and the render was D11. So, well guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I hope I at least helped out somebody. Uh, so, I hope you guys have a good Christmas. And if you really are thinking about buying this computer, I 100% recommend it. And if I had to do it all over again... Would I buy a new computer or would I just stick with this one? And the answer is I would stick with this one. It's a great build. Uh, it's good quality. And it has uh, upgradeability components so you can upgrade it further in the future. Uh, like I said, it's got four RAM slots. So you could really do whatever you want to with it. So I hope you guys have an amazing day. Thank you. Bye-bye.